to be a June favorites video and empties video. Sorry if this is late. It is late. It's like two weeks late, but I thought better late than never to film it. So yeah, let's get into it. So the first favorite is a Kiko eyeshadow. This is number 208. This is one of their water eyeshadows. And it just looks like this really nice packaging. And I've been using this as a highlight, not actually as an eyeshadow. But it's a beautiful golden eyeshadow. I got this in France at a Kiko store. And if you watch Kathleen Mike, she mentioned this eyeshadow and she uses it as a highlighter. And Kathleen Mike loves it. I have to buy it because I love her. So yeah, I've been loving that. And then a mascara combo. The first one is from ooh, It Cosmetics. This is the Superhero Mascara. And then the next one is Smashbox X-Rated. The Superhero one is more of a triangle, not triangle, um, tree shape brass, brush. And then the X-Rated one, it looks straight. When you hold it like on its point, it's like a triangle. And both of these separately give you great volume and separation and length and all that. But together, it gives you awesome volume and length, but um, it also separates your last step at the same time. So, really love that combo. And then the last makeup, like, pat um, last makeup product, it's more of a tool. It's the Rare Mona, like, mini shader brush. I don't know what it's actually called, but I got this in my negativity bag. And it's just a little short shader brush, and I've been loving to apply my brow bone color with this. I love highlighter. If I could wear a face powder, I would. So not only do I want my cheeks to be popping, I want my brows to be popping. So I just dip this in a cream color, apply it to my brow bone, and it just lifts up my brow. So yeah, it's also really cute, the purple and everything. So I've been loving that. Okay, now I have a skincare favorite. This is the Neutrogena Ultra Gentle Daily Cleanser. It, I used this while I was in England. My sister uses this like daily. Like, even when we were in England, my sister and I shared this bottle. But I think once I finish my simple foaming cleanser, I will just use this. This is really good stuff. It's really gentle, like it says. But it just gets the makeup off. So, yeah. Highly recommend this if you are looking for an ultra-gentle cleanser, but still gets makeup off. Now I have a body favorite. Bath & Body Works Thousand Wishes is my all-time favorite scent. It just smells so good. Oh, it smells so good, and if you like warm, nutty scents, highly recommend this one. Bath Body Works, you better not discontinue this, or I will be very sad. So I've been using the body spray all throughout the month of June, and it is so good. Okay, now last two favorites this is our jewelry favorites. The I've been loving this bracelet from Guess. My aunt got this for me, and it's just gold with pink, and the heart has little jewels on it. And it's just pink leather here, and then solid, well not solid gold, but like rosy gold. And it says guest right there, and it's just a really nice bracelet. And I've been wearing that every day since I got it. And then, oh. and then while I was in England, I was a bridesmaid, so my other aunt got my sister and I matching necklaces and earrings, but the necklace I've been wearing every day since I got it, it's silver with a little pearl. And yeah, I've just been wearing this necklace every day. I'm not wearing these right now, but ever since I got these, I've been wearing them. Okay, now time for the empty. Sorry if that wasn't that many favorites, but I just, I've been loving the same products. So I didn't want to be repetitive. So yeah, let's get into the empties. It's not as much as I usually have, but I got stuff. So the first two things are cut pads, just the Sisters brand. There's cut pads, and they're good. They just work for nail polish, toner, you know, whatever your cut pads need. I finished up a Too Faced Better Than Sex. It's, like, so empty when you take it out. You can, like, feel it, like, wiping away all the product. Love this mascara. One of my favorite high-end ones. Next to the Benefit They're Real Awesome Mascara. Highly recommend it if you're looking for a high-end one. I got this for my birthday. It's the Queen Colors 2 to Duet. It has a liquid liner and a pencil liner. I love the liquid liner. The pencil liner was re pretty good. The liquid liner was really easy to apply. If I can open it, it's kind of like really dry. That's, it's like a chubby tip, but it was easy to apply. I was kind of scared it wouldn't. Okay, uh, I have another 
I have a few mascaras in here. Okay, three more mascaras. I go through a lot of mascara. I got these two for my birthday. This is, they're both from Queen Colors. This is the VIP mascara, and this is the Botox mascara. They were pretty good. I mean, together they were better than separately, but if you're looking for affordable mascara, then check these out. But I wouldn't really, like, rate them as my top favorite. This is the Benefit Roller Lash. This was alright. I mean, I did a first impressions on it. I wouldn't pay for the whole thing, but it was okay for length. If you're into more length and volume, then try this. But I'm more into volume and length. More volume. So, mm. Okay. I didn't go through... Okay, what I did was... I had some of this left and some of this left and then some of my Smashbox primer left primer water left so what I did is I just took the liquid out of here and poured in my Smashbox one so I didn't go through these like like spraying them separately I just poured it them in and I just decided to put the bottles in but one of this is the elf one and this is the went wild one highly recommend them for affordable setting sprays if you um the one this the elf one's cheaper so um and they both I find that this one like has more of an effect but they're both great. For affordable ones, recommend them. Oh. I have another pack of cotton pads. Same brand. The states need to start selling this. This is the Rimmel Stronger Nail Nail Nurse. I bought three bottles of this. When you see my Europe haul, you saw that I got three bottles of this stuff. Yes. That's how much my sister and I love this stuff. It is such a good nail hardener. Like my nails. They're so hard, and they finally grew back. I cut them when I got back from France, and they grew back. So, yeah, the states need to start selling this. I don't think they sell this yet, and if they do, I have not seen it. So, yeah, this is just such a good nail nurse. Bottle of acetone. I really like acetone since I wear a lot of glitter on my nails because I'm, I'm glitter AF, let's just say. Um, I wear a lot of glitter on my nails, so acetone really gets it off, so that's why I really like it. I know it's damaging, but it just gets the glitter off, so yeah, it's okay. This stuff's really awesome. This is the Not Your Mother's Way to Grow Leave-In Conditioner. Um, I plan to get a trim, like just the dead ends off, before school starts in August, but I don't cut my hair, like, ever. The last time I cut it was last year, before school started in August, so it's the next time I get it cut it will be a year since I got it cut, which is a long time, but my hair, because I use products on it, it looks healthy. So, this stuff's great to grow your hair. My hair is really long, so, yeah, if you're looking for a good leave-in conditioner, recommend that. It's really affordable. Um, the Paris Amour Body Wash from Bath Body Works. I use this in France, house suiting. So, yeah, it actually kind of exploded in my toiletry bag so I didn't actually use all of it by myself but it's basically empty. Shaving gel, this is the satin gel, satin, can I speak? No. This is the satin care sensitive skin shaving gel, really good if you have sensitive skin. It just, it's like any other shaving gel but it works for sensitive skin. So that's why it says sensitive skin. So I like that. My sister just buys the shaving cream. I don't really care what I use but she was using that so we shared. So this is the Kroger brand of the Clean and Clear. This is comparable to Clean and Clear oil absorbing sheets. You just get 50 in here, and if you your skin gets oily, you just blot. And yeah, they just take the shine away, but they don't disturb the makeup underneath, which is really good, which I find with some oil absorbing sheets, but not these. Okay, so those are my June empties and favorites video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Comment below saying some of the products you emptied and also some of the products you loved during the month of June. Sorry if this video was late, but hope you guys still enjoyed it. Yeah. Bye.